Okay, just really quick guys, um, I want to show you how to edit your walls, not your wall um, types, but your wall heights. So here I've just loaded in a uh, residential template and I'm just going to draw some walls. And so, fit load. Um, and of course we have a bunch of different wall types here. You can choose whatever or create your own, but, um, just for this demonstration, I'm just going to do the generic six inch and I'm just going to randomly draw sort of square shape, um, wall here. Let's see, there's a wall that goes out here, connects back, and then wall here, and goes to there. So, if you were to go to your 3D view, um, you can see here, my walls are gigantic and these elevation markers like this is telling me bottom of footing top of footing first and second floor roof level so if i were to go into let's just go into my north elevation yeah so my my walls they're starting at zero feet and zero inches they're over eight uh 18 feet tall in fact they're 20 feet tall and so what you can do is you can either set up these parameters before you start drawing walls or if you've already drawn walls and look at your 3d view and just notice whoa these are way too huge um you can adjust um different elements here in the properties box so we were drawing on the first floor plan so we should keep our base constraint at the first floor um if for some reason we had um some step footings here um that's when you could split your wall and change your um base constraint if you had if you were adjusting um your footings here at the bottom um, but for this one, we want to say the top's constraint will be the second floor. Hit apply. And there we have walls that are now nine feet tall, which is pretty standard in residential construction. And so you can just highlight, or you should be able to just highlight all these walls and change the top constraint to second floor you can even say okay um i want all of these walls you could say i want all of these walls to go all the way up to the roof and you can make your top constraint of course up to the roof and it'll do that for you and if you model in a roof you can easily attach the top of the wall to the base of your roof um, and if you wanted to split the wall here you can click different so if I wanted this one instead of going to the roof we'll say it'll go to the second floor but it will have an offset of one foot we just hit apply as you can see, it, it goes one foot above the um, second floor. But yeah, you can just mess with those. And if you have different um, finishes that go up to a certain height, this is a good way to um, manipulate that. Um, and then you can stack the second wall on top of that same wall and just make the base um, constraint of that the second floor and then you would just do a base offset of one foot 
But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you found this helpful.